what is up everyone welcome to a brand new review a retro review in fact because avengers infinity war is coming out this weekend and holy crap we've been building up for this and i thought hey why not talk about the very first Avengers? Because of course, this Avengers was like one of those event films, one of those films that really changed the dynamic in, I think, the Hollywood space in general. Because look at all the cinematic universes going on today. I mean, most of them don't work. Most of them have failed. But the MCU, for some reason, the one that really started it all, the one that really kicked it off first, is the one that worked 100% and worked completely. And why is that? I mean, we look at the Dark Universe, because that's the one I'm mostly talking about, that failed completely and didn't even make any more. You look at the DCEU, which I do appreciate, I just think could have been worked better, but you look at the MCU, for some reason, they start off with Iron Man. They went with Iron Man 2, Incredible, or it went Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, and then straight into Captain America, which built us into the Avengers. And all these heroes came together for one unique film, The Avengers. And this film, again, like I said, is an event film. This is a film that really changed the dynamic. So overall, a little story time for you guys is as Iron Man was coming out, I wasn't the biggest Marvel fan. I was more of, I liked Spider-Man and Deadpool. They were two of my favorite characters in the Marvel Universe, but that was really it. I wasn't a huge Marvel fanatic. I was more of a DC reader growing up with Justice League, Batman, Superman, The Flash, and so on and so forth. But when Iron Man came out, it really changed the game. It made me go back and look at the comics, and I really got delved deep into the Avengers and everything like that. So coming into the Avengers, this film not only bonded with me with one of my best friends who, like, now every single MCU film we see together. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, opening night, we will go and see it, which is a big accomplishment of that. You know, it started with Iron Man, and now it's gone to the Avengers. And it's always stuck with us with that fact. And I'm really excited to see what Avengers Infinity War is. But at Marvel's Avengers, what it started out is, is an idea. I mean, Nick Fury says that. It started as an idea to bring these unique people to do the things that others cannot. I know I'm paraphrasing a bit, but we know that is what Nick Fury says. And really, that's a statement for this film as well. You bring Kevin Feige, a great producer who's produced all these Marvel films. You bring great talents into here, John Favreau, to build up this universe, Kenneth Branagh, Joe Johnson, and whatnot. But then you bring in fantastic actors to embody these roles, because each and every actor looks to be great for the role. And then, of course, you bring in Joss Whedon to direct and write Avengers. Now, of course, this guy's done Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He's also done Firefly, both really good cult classic and loved through the geek culture. So he was a perfect match for the Avengers. And really, I think the Avengers is like a near masterpiece of a film. I have my small, small nitpicks and issues with it. It is not actually one of my favorite MCU films, but it's one of those films that you appreciate because again, like I said, this is an invent film. This is a very special, unique film that we had never seen again. Again, throwing shade at the Dark Universe and throwing shade at the DCEU. For some reason, the MCU is working. People are going back and forth to see it. And I think a lot of it goes to this film, The Avengers, which changed it. So, overall, Avengers, it is an amazing film. You look at the choreograph, you look at the cinematography, you look at the field. I mean, the back and forth with all the characters is great. You get the dynamics between each and every person throughout this film that we've already kind of seen throughout the other films. Of course, Nick Fury with some of the others, Black Widow with Iron Man. But now we get more dynamics. You get Iron Man talking with Thor and Cap, and then Iron Man's banter back with Bruce Banner. Of course, that's a great one because they're both smart. And it's just great. It, the banter is what really makes the film. You believe in these heroes, but one of the biggest pros to this film is really that last third act. For me, this is one of those films that each act got better and better, and by the third act, you were so engrossed in this film that it is truly the definition of a blockbuster summer hit. That whole last battle of New York is one of the best action sequences in any comic book movie, and especially in the MCU, especially since the MCU's had some pretty damn good action scenes now. But this one still holds up that tracking shot of it going around with the theme blasting. I mean, this is easily still the best score in the MCU, because I don't think the MCU does good with scores, but the score for this film is brilliant. I love the score for this, I love the sound of it, and seriously, that tracking shot when it's just going around following all the heroes, and when they go kick ass, I mean, I love when Captain America is like, Hulk, smash. And Hulk just 
punches the Leviathan. It is such a crowd-pleasing moment. A lot of this film has crowd-pleasing moments in it. And this, again, it's just a special film. I know everyone has memories of going to it. I have a memory of going to see The Avengers for the first time. If you didn't watch my last podcast with Durbin and Cody, we were talking about this where I said, like, my dad took us on a Saturday morning to go see this film. We went to these theaters that the seats actually, like, move to the thing. So when Iron Man's flying, the seats go like this. When Cap throws its shield, it might turn a bit. It was, or, like, when you're on the ships, it would, like, tilt and stuff a bit. When Hulk's punching, it might fly. It was such a unique experience. I've done that for a couple theaters now, and sadly, they don't have that theater anymore in Arizona but it was such a memorable moment and it just engrossed you more into the film I don't know what else I can say about this Avengers film there's moments in here that you love there's moments in banter back and forth the third act is amazing and really Loki is a great villain in here you get the diabolical he's that comic book villain the perfect match for the Avengers and for me like one of the best parts about having Loki is that we built him up in Thor to come in here and it just it's crazy to see how much has changed and how much dynamics have gone into the of Marvel world now especially going into Avengers Infinity War how many characters we brought along the way and really I I, I've said all my pros. I've said this is pretty much a masterpiece of a film. I think most people will agree with me. The one thing that I actually do not like about this film is the first act. Like I said, the first act is very slow for me, and I feel like you've already built up these films. I wish they would have just gotten right to the punch. Given I still enjoy the first act, I just felt like it was very weak compared to the last two acts. When the action's hitting the fan, when all that's going down, but once the team starts getting together, that is like the best. When the Avengers assemble, I love this film. I think it is fantastic like i said this is a masterpiece of a comic book summer blockbuster thing is it the best film in the world no but for me as a summer summer blockbuster film this is a near masterpiece with all that said i'm gonna give the avengers an a plus besides my nitpicks like i said this is really a fun summer blockbuster hit it's a perfect summer blockbuster masterpiece of a film that has so much fun to it but guys the most important thing is is i want to hear what your guys' thoughts are of this film do you guys have any fun stories with the avengers do you have any cool stories with it that you guys can relate to i want to hear about it down below in the comments because that's something that i think is gonna be really fun to talk about so make sure to leave me down in your comments down below about what your guys thoughts are of the first avengers and also let's just hear about some stories that you guys have with this film because i think a lot of us have fond memories with it and also guys make sure to look out for the rest of the week because the rest of the week is going with the mcu i'm not gonna let you know when my avengers infinity war review drops but it will be soon i'll just let you know that but also some other videos will be dropping this whole week so that'll be a ton of fun to make sure to look out this whole week is pretty much going marvel and then back into the week and i'll be going into some special kind of videos that i've been putting together of course guys you guys are seriously all the best i want you guys to know that for sure make sure to get that like and subscribe button go check out all my social media links so you guys can follow me on all those things when we talk more geeky stuff and of course the most important thing is go check out sandwich on films where you guys can check out movie news movie reviews and also maybe win some advanced screening tickets to go see some movies early trust me it's a cool website and you better go check it out and guys seriously you guys are all the best and i can't wait to talk more avenger stuff so until next time stay classy